bad boy. All right. Okay, here we go. Well, welcome to our moving up night and I first time ever trying this technology. So I'm thinking it's working pretty good. I hope you guys are um, able to hear everything loud and clear. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet and give you as much information as I possibly can about moving up because um, I really believe that in Mary Kay, like, well, there's so much to offer. I mean, there's so much of a buffet in Mary Kay that I just want to make sure that all of you guys know what's available to you because, you know, if you have this whole huge buffet in front of you and you're just eating salad, you know, there's steak and there's dessert and there's lots of other stuff that you could be um, enjoying that I just want to make sure that you know what's available to you um, for just being a consultant. So, First of all, I'm sure you guys know that we have huge goals this month that we're working on. And so I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for people who are ready to stretch, people that are really ready to um, believe in big things and believe in themselves, really, um, and believe in this opportunity and be passionate about sharing this opportunity with other people. Um, so I'm going to talk about, and, I've, and when I look down, I'm looking at my notes because I have lots and lots and lots of notes. So basically what I'm looking for is people that, like I said, want to move up. And if you are on this, I know that you have a desire to move up. So um, you can make money, great money from your sales. And all month long, we're going to be talking about lots of different ways to, to make sales, you know, on our Facebook page and email and Boxer, there's going to be lots of different ways to make sales because I want you guys making money from your sales and you can make great money from your sales. But if you really want to maximize the marketing plan, you want to be making, you want to be team building and, um, and, and selling at the same time. Okay. So, um, like if you want to make really good money, um, with sales, like let's say you want to make $5,000 a month, that would be a lot of product that you'd have to sell. You know, you'd have to be hustling a lot of products where, you know, with, with, with team building and with moving up, you can be sharing the business and be building that residual income from your team and then be able to be making money from your sales. So um, you really want to be doing both. It's going to maximize the marketing plan. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to share a little bit about team building and then I'm going to go over the career path and make sure you know like what the different levels are to you and all the options that are available to you as far as the pay scale is concerned. Okay. And then we're going to go into how to do that because everyone's like, okay, how do, what does that actually look like? Okay. So first of all, I want you to know that team building, team building is one of my favorite, favorite things about this business. I love helping people come at, Like I love seeing new people come in. They're scared. They're nervous. They're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. And to see them blossom and to see them build their confidence and to be a part of that journey is so exciting. I just absolutely love it. And so just know that we're going to go over the monetary um, rewards of team building, but just know that more importantly, it's about, you know, being a part of their journey and the impact and the influence that you're able to have in their lives, you know, and that you're able to literally change someone else's life. So that is my favorite part about team building. And, and, you know, in the beginning, I think most of you have heard this story, but if you haven't, um, I was kind of weirded out about team building. I thought it was, I don't know, it was just not for me. And it wasn't the reason I came in. And so I, I didn't team build in the beginning and then I got my first team member and it changed everything. I absolutely loved it. I loved having a buddy. I, I saw how it changed her life. And so team building is now one of my favorite, favorite things. But what I can tell you about team building is it's just a transference of feeling, just like sales. You know, when you're excited about the microdome abrasion, you're going to sell microdome abrasion to everybody. You know, when you're not excited about, you know, anything, any products, you're not going to be selling as much. Same thing with team building is that when you're excited about your business and when you have a goal and when you're passionate and you're excited, you're going to you're, you're going to totally share the marketing plan with everybody because you're, you're passionate. So team building, just like selling is just a transference of feeling. Okay. Um, so it's not hard. I had, I have new consultants all the time, you know, team build and, you know, get team members left and right. It's not because they know what they're doing. It's not that you need to have this great formula for team building. It's not that you have to have all the magic words. You just have to be passionate. And when you're excited and when you have a goal, then you share with everybody, 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 everybody can possibly think of. Okay. So I'm not going to go over the how to's of what exactly to do with team building, but just know that you want to have them here. Some information I will do as many career chats and share the business business opportunity with as many people as possible, but really it's about passion. Okay. But you guys, people need this opportunity. Do you know that 80% of employees don't want to go to work on Monday morning? Do you know that 97% uh, of workers, if they became financially independent, they probably would not continue at their current occupation because they're just doing it for the money and for a paycheck. They're not doing it because they love it and because they're passionate about it because they feel like they're making a difference in the world. Um, 
you know, well, I'll just share a couple other ones up. 20, 24% of sick days are actually taken for illness. 24% of sick days are actually taken for illness, you guys. So what that means is that 76% of the day, sick days or sick days are taken because they don't want to be at work. Okay. So what that tells you is that people are bored and people are looking for for something different, they're looking for hope is really the bottom line. You know, after every marketing thing, I always, I always say the password is hope because that's really what we sell is we sell hope in a box to people, hope that their life can be different. And, and you know, I just want to say this first of all, because I know there's people on the call that are all different levels. You know, some of you have had some team members, some of you haven't. If you have had some team members, maybe Maybe you've had some bad experiences or they've chosen not to really run with it. You have to know that team building um, isn't about you. Like it's your choice and your job just to offer it and what they do with it is completely up to them, okay? That it's our job just to offer and then what they do with it is completely on their end. That doesn't say anything about us. Doesn't mean that we're a bad recruiter. It just means that they didn't choose to really run with this, okay? So, I mean, but I am so grateful and I would assume that all of you on the, on the, the, call tonight would say that you are grateful that your recruiter, you know, shared the business with you. And I would hope that all of you, you know, would say that after whatever, a month, a couple weeks, years that you have benefited from your Mary Kay business. So why not pass that on to other people? Why not share this opportunity with other people? So just know that women need this opportunity and you're going to get rewarded in Mary Kay for sharing the opportunity. Okay. So if you got the emails, I, um, I emailed you the marketing plans. So you can kind of follow along, but if not grab a piece of paper and, and write these down. Um, and I can email them to you later. First of all, how we move up in the career path is everybody starts at the same place. And what I love about our marketing plan is everybody starts at the same place, has the same opportunity for advancement. Um, and then when you get your first active team member, now active means that they have their first order in or that they've ordered 225 um, wholesale in the last three months, okay? So when you have your first active team member, you're what we call a senior consultant, um, and you start making 4% commission from the company. So you make 4% commission off anything they order. So it's not, it doesn't affect them at all, it's just, if we call it love checks, because it's Mary Kay saying thank you for sharing the opportunity with um, Suzy Q. So you make 4% commission. Then you become a star recruiter, and that's when you have three active team members, and at that point, you're a red jacket, and we make a big deal out of you because you um, promoted yourself into management. A red jacket is the first level of management, and really, um, you have a team that you're working with, and you have a, a decent group of girls that, that you're, you're you know, working with and helping them um, build their businesses as well. Okay, so that's the, the star recruiter or red jacket. You still make 4% um, commission. However, from your fourth qualified team member on, you make a $50 team building bonus, okay? So for your fourth qualified team member on, and qualified means that their initial order is 600 wholesale or more, you make a $50 team building bonus on top of your 4% um, commission. That's all paid from Mary Kay. Doesn't affect the person. Then you become a team leader, and that's when you have five active people. Um, then you get a pay raise. So this, you want to put a star by this one because you get a pay raise. You make at least double. So you make your, your pay scale goes from 4% to 9 to 13% commission, okay? And you still get your $50 team building bonuses. And at the team leader position with five active, you can, st you can go on target for your car. And this month, I'm offering um, huge incentives for people going on target for their car. They can get a free tablet or designer purse for going on target for their car, and it's not hard. Anybody, I've had new consultants come in and go on target for their car in their first month. It's not hard, it's just five active team members and when your orders and your team's orders add up to 5,000 wholesale in a month, you go on target for your car. And that can really add up. I mean, um, last month, one of my girls that went on target for a car, her commission check, I think, was like seven or $800. You know, so that's just in addition to the money that she's making from her sales. That, that's just rewarding her for sharing the opportunity, okay? So... Put a star by that one because team leader and going on target for your car um, is definitely doable. Every single one of you. I mean, we have people on the call that all different places. Every single one of you could go on target for your car this month easily. So then you become a future director or DIQ. Future director is when you have eight active. And then DIQ, I'm going to talk about that for a minute because I know some of you on the call 
our leaders and our women who um, have a desire to lead and our women who, you know, you want to be at the top. You know, you don't want someone telling you what to do. You want to be, you're a leader and you're someone who wants to be a sales director. And, you know, I remember seeing my director's position. I was like, I want to be there. What do you got to do to be there? <laughs> and, um, and so how you be, and this, so I'm just going to explain it just really quickly. Um, DIQ stands for director and qualification. And to get into DIQ, um, you have to have 10 active people at the end of a given month. And then you have to be a star consultant, either the previous quarter or the current quarter. Okay, so if you wanted to go into DIQ June 1st, which every single one of you on the call tonight could go into DIQ June 1st. Like seriously, I've seen people get into DIQ in three days. It's not hard. It's all right here in between our heads. I've seen people get into their red jacket in three days. I've seen people go on target for their car in three days. I mean, it really is right here. You know, I've been working with Jamie and, you know, she told us about a girl that, you know, signed up and then the next night, the next night, you know, she got five people in front of Jamie, recruited all five of them. They all came in with inventory. She was on target for her car the next night, you know, so it can literally happen that quickly. It doesn't have to take a long time, which I love. So DIQ is at the end of a given month, so if you were to go into DIQ June 1st, um, you'd have to have 10 active people, and you have to have been a star either this quarter, so by June 15th, or you have to have 1,800 wholesale in between June 16th and, um, and June 30th, okay? So those two things, because they want you selling and team building, okay? They don't want you just team building because it's not a pyramid level company. Um, and of course you can just sell, but to be a leader, they want you selling and team building. They want you to do both, okay? So then the benefits of being a director, like just pretty much your pay scale quadruples, um, you join the top 1% of Mary Kay when you're a sales director. Um, you go through a qualification period and it has all the things on there. There's all these different bonuses and all these different cool things you can get. But what I love about being a sales director is just the impact and the influence and you're able to change so many more women's lives and have so much of a bigger impact, okay? And you're able to help so many more people. And of course, you get rewarded financially for it. But Mary Kay always said that our paycheck is, and it's so true, our paycheck is a reflection of the lives that we have changed. In this business, you can't just get to the top by being selfish and having it be all about the money. When you're truly helping other people and really wanting to help them, Mary Kay will reward you financially, okay? So just know that, yes, you make more money, but you also... Um, are, are being like you're also impacting way more lives okay so now also I have had it because I just had the experience oh, of Darla becoming a new sales director it was such an awesome awesome thing to be able to to help her yes Debbie's celebrating over there it's her cousin it's been so fun to just see this journey with her and to see her blossom and I truly believe that directorship is really the beginning of where everything happens like I said because the pay scale opens up but really the influence and and you really evolve as a person and as a leader through the process of DIQ so if you don't feel like you know how to lead because that was my concern like oh my gosh I don't even know what I'm doing how am I gonna help these other people so I don't know if anyone else has that fear but just know that we teach you how to do all that you go through um, just like new consultant training they have director training for new directors where they teach you how to do everything literally anybody can do this okay anybody can be a sales director I promise um, in fact I have to tell you a funny story just yesterday we have a Voxer group of our Pueblo directors and um, we were joking because one of the directors like wore, wore lip liner on her eyebrows so she had bright red eyebrows all day long and didn't even realize it until the end of the day and she had all these appointments it was like going to all these recruiting appointments and she recruited people and sold product with bright red um, eyebrows <laughs> so we were joking because it's so true that anybody can be a sales director okay so just because you're a sales director doesn't mean that you have things figured out we are we, we are just doing the same thing you do but we get paid more and then one of the other handouts that I emailed you um, breaks down the commission and it basically shows you how as a consultant versus as a director um, the difference in pay scale doing the exact same amount of activity. Okay, because here's the other concern that people have about being directors is, oh man, like I, I don't want to work that much. That's okay. Guess what? You don't have to. You can be a great Equinox director, you know, working about 20 hours a week. Okay, so 20 hours a week and you're making 
probably sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year working twenty hours a week, y'all. Seriously, um, you can make some really good money without um, having to work very much. In fact, one of my my best friend, she worked. Um, she she worked at the shipyard. It's a place back in Washington, and she uh, made six figures. She made a hundred thousand dollars a year there, and she earned a pink Cadillac. And um, did half million, did unit club while still working a full time job. So you can build a very successful business in a short amount of time. Because that's one of the biggest concerns I hear is, oh, I don't have much time. You don't have, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. It really is about consistency, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So, okay, the last thing I'll talk about directorship. Because I really love directorship and I want more people to become directors. I think it's the best job out there, you guys. Best job out there. Um, but I emailed the, the handout of for the exact same amount of activity as a director versus a consultant. Your commission as a consultant would be, if you gold medaled, it would be about $800, which is great um, for a consultant. And that's, that's not including your sales, right? But as a director with the exact same amount of activity, not including your base production, your paycheck would be about um, $2,300 for the exact same amount of activity and so basically if you do the work to get there you'll be making more money but you do the exact same thing like I'm just a glorified consultant so um okay so that's the marketing plan okay so now you know the different levels um, of kind of what's available to you like I said at the beginning kind of the buffet of Mary Kay if you if you will so those are the different options like I said I have it all in your email for you so Basically, what does that look like? If you want to move up, because what I'm looking for right now is I want 20 new red jackets and I want five new car drivers or on target car drivers and DIQs by June 1st and I or July 1st and I believe we can do it. So I'm looking for people who want to get into red. Red doesn't have to take that much. Um, if you're already in your red jacket, let's shoot to go on target for your car and why not DIQ? If you're going to stretch, why not stretch for DIQ? Okay? Because this is the month. I mean, June is the month where people blow things out of the water. We hear people doing huge, crazy numbers, and because it is just working with that sense of urgency and that camaraderie, and all of us are working and stretching and doing big things together, so let's all stretch and do big things together. And do you know the number one reason people don't go for goals or don't um, really go for something or say that they want a want to be in their red jacket or that they, um, well, everyone could say, oh, I want to be a director. Or, oh, oh, I want to be in my red jacket. But everybody's scared. We're all scared. We're scared that we'll put ourselves out there and then we'll fail. Oh, dear God, we'll fail. Do you know? <laughs> I can't tell you how scary it is to, to, uh, for us going for, the, for this huge goal right now. But you know what? If you don't go for something, then you're never going to know if you could have done it, right? That really the, the only way to fail is not to go for something and to play safe. Because every time that I have gone for something big, I have felt truly alive in my business. And I have been more passionate about my business than ever before because I had a goal. And Mary Kay, uh, or um, well, one of Mary Kay's um, top nationals, Gloria Mayfield Bank, she always says, you need to have a right now passionate goal. Something that fires you up because when you have a goal, yes, you can be scared and nervous, but it's exciting. It's exciting. And it, and so I want you to get off the call tonight and have a right now passionate goal. That is my hope for you. Yes, you could have a goal that like, oh yeah, Candace, I want to be a director a year from now. Okay, that's great. Awesome. But that doesn't motivate you into action tonight and tomorrow. That is it's really way too easy to procrastinate, okay? But if you have a goal that says, I'm getting into DIQ July 1st, and I have zero team members right now, and zero in sales, all right, that motivates you into action because that means you've gotta get on the phone and you've gotta work with intention and focus and passion like you never ever have before. So just know that goals are good things. Don't run from them. You know, um, it's something like 90, only like, Nine or ninety-five percent of Americans don't set goals, and if you don't set goals, then you're just going through the motions, and you're just gonna get whatever comes your way. But if you have a goal, then you know where you're going. It gives you direction. It gives you purpose. It gives the phone calls and the, you know, the warm chatting and the disappointments and the all that. It gives it purpose because you know that every call you're making is getting you closer to your dream and getting you closer to what it is that you want for you and your family. Okay. So just know that goals are a good thing. So don't be afraid of them because 
I'm looking, what, what I'm looking for this month is I'm putting myself all out there. And yeah, I got little voices up here saying, oh my gosh, that's so much. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, Candace, you've never done that much. I'm scared to death. But guess what? I'm moving forward and I'm excited and I am more fired up than I've ever been because I have a goal. I have a goal. And yeah, we're going all out. But worst case scenario, if we don't make it, oh no, we had our best year ever and we are farther along than we have ever been. You guys, and so goals aren't a bad thing and really the only way to fail is not to go for something, really. So, okay, just want to say that really quickly. All right, so basically I want you to commit, if you have a desire to move up, I want you to commit to um, this month either getting in your red jacket or going on target for your car or why not go for DIQ if you're gonna stretch, okay? That's what I'm looking for is I want you to commit to that. Every single one of you, there's a couple of you on the line that just signed up a week ago. Every single one of you could be in DIQ by July 1st if you decided, because you guys have decided mind changes the world. That's how people get into DIQ in like a day is they make a decision. And when you make your mind up, nothing can stop you, okay? So what kind of activity does that look like? Because everybody always wants to know, what does that look like? What does that look like? Yeah, that's great, Candice, but um, where do I start? Okay, so first of all, just know that you've got to have the passion and the goal, and that's why I'm talking about that first and foremost. But then what do you do? You got to get into action, okay? Because you can believe it all day long, but if you sit at home and believe and believe and believe and don't work, you're going to go crazy, and it's not going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. And then the opposite is true. If you work and work and work, but you don't believe, then it's not going to happen. You have to do both of them together. You have to believe in yourself. You have to dig deep and believe in yourself, and if you don't believe in yourself right now, guess what? Guess what? That is the reason why you've got to do this is to believe in yourself that you can do anything you set your mind to because you can. You really can. You know, I was just listening to a conference call today because, you know, when you're going for something big, you've got to be feeding your mind with positive stuff all the time because your mind will go crazy and we will get negative on our own, especially me. I'm a very pessimist person naturally. Mary Kay has helped me so much and most of you would not know that, um, but I was listening to something while I was eating lunch and the lady was like, you know, she's going for this huge goal. No one believed she could do it. And she said, the only thing that matters is that you believe you can do it. Doesn't matter what your husband thinks. Doesn't matter what your neighbor thinks. Doesn't matter what your director even thinks, whether it's possible. The key is if you believe it, it's possible. And that's so true. You've got to believe it and then you've got to get into action and not just think about it all day long, okay? So what kind of activity does that look like? If you have a desire to be a director, I did email you two forms. Um, one of them, well, well, one of them said 83 days to directorship. If you have a desire to be a director, you could be a director in 83 days, 83 days. And so it mapped out like week by week by week what to do. I love this because it's a roadmap. It shows you exactly what to do. So you can look at that, check it out in your email. Um, but basically day one, you know, it tells you, you go, uh, or day one to eight, you book 15 parties to, for 10 to hold means you complete three of the parties. So you have three parties, you complete six career chats, and you add one to two recruits. So basically, what it boils down to is doing about three parties a week. You could become a sales director doing about three parties a week. It doesn't have to take much time, y'all, seriously. Um, and then the other one was really cute. It was this little tracking sheet, and I will, or it should be in your email, that it's, um, it tells you exactly what to do weekly. I mean, honestly, you guys, if you did this weekly, Prove me wrong that you wouldn't be a sales director and on target for your car this month, easily. So basically, it's 10 new faces a week, um, which is like three parties, um, $200 in reorders, 25 new names a week, because that's really the key is you've got to be getting new names coming in, okay? That's a whole other conversation we're not going to talk about tonight. There's a gazillion ways to get leads. Um, that, but the key is we've got to just get out there and do it. We know all the ways to get leads. Doing it is a whole nother thing. So um, really, that's all it is, is seeing 10 faces a week and sharing the business with six people a week. And you could literally be in your, you could be on target for your car and um, in DIQ by the end of the month. Seriously. It's not that much activity, but the key is that you have to be working it consistently. That is the key to this business, you guys, is consistency, just like anything else. You can have a great week and, you know, have a $1,000 week and then not do anything for three weeks. And that's not really, I would much rather have a consultant that sells 
two or three hundred dollars each week than have someone that sells a thousand dollars one week and then does nothing for three weeks because there's so much power in consistency and in momentum okay because it's way easier to keep the momentum and the ball rolling than to do something and then stop and then do something and stop it takes a lot less momentum so consistency is key um so literally three to five parties a week will get you anywhere you want to go in this business, anywhere. And that's if you want to like literally earn a car or um, become a sales director. So it's not a ton of activity. It really is just about being in front of people. Okay. Now, if you want to get in your red jacket, I would say that you want to do like, if it, like basically if you share the business with 10 people, you could easily get in your red jacket. So if you want to get in your red jacket, let's share the business with 10 people. Now, let me qualify that 10 people. Just watching my video or whatever is great, but usually about one in 20 people that watch a video sign up. But basically when I'm sitting down with someone one-on-one -on -one at, at an event, I'm usually about one in two or three. So if you can get them in front of me, I mean, a lot of you that are on tonight are local, you're in Colorado, I have a gazillion things going on this month, plug into the events, get people in front of me. But if not, let's do Skype stuff, let's do something where we can actually talk to them, you know, face to face, but it has to be a conversation. It has to be a conversation with someone, okay? Like, I just signed someone up yesterday, she watched my video beforehand, and then we got together, we did the facial, you know, I sold her product and then we talked about my video. I overcame her objection. She signed up like, so it can be that easy, but, but there has to be a conversation about it afterwards. Does that make sense? Has to be a conversation. So, um, so basically if you want to get into DIQ, that's the amount of activity it's going to take three parties a week. You do that every single, um, you do that every single week this month and, or if you don't want to do three parties, focus on nine to 10 faces, nine to 10 faces, backtrack that. Okay. Where are you going to get the leads? That's not our conversation tonight. There's a million ways to get leads, but the key is that you need to be having a lot of leads coming in. So you have people to work with. If, if you just started and there's different people on the call that have, that are different levels. If you just started, I know, you know, people that you can ask to be hostesses for you. And I also know that those of you that have been in for a little while, you have old customers or you have current customers that you can go to them and say, Oh my gosh, I'm going on target for my car this month. I need to do you know, three parties a week. Oh my gosh. I don't know enough people to do this. Will you help me? Is there any reason why you couldn't um, pull three people together? Um, to help me out with this goal. And so don't be afraid to ask people, you guys, here's the key. When you set up your mind to something, you've got to tell everybody. And you tell everybody because it encourages you. It doesn't matter what they think. It's about you reminding yourself that, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. And you have that accountability. So um, look through your hostesses. I know you can find people that will help you with parties. If not, have them, have them, you know, we have lots of different fun events going on in Pueblo in the Springs. Reconnect with them, invite them to one of those cool themed events that we're doing. And it's layering, it's getting them exposed to the product again, okay? So you guys, one thing that I want you to know is that it's not hard to move up. And if you have not moved up or you've had some frustration or discouragement, just know that it's not hard hard to move up. Let's get in front of people and actually have conversations with people, um, face to face conversations. And let's make this happen because every single one of you could be in your red jacket. Why not go and charge your car with all that I'm offering this month? And you know, I encourage you to think big. I am looking for people this month who are willing to be wild and crazy like me. Like I feel like I'm that crazy lone nut out there saying, let's do this. Let's do this. Who wants to be, go for a crazy big goal with me. Um, and you know, why not go to have a $10,000 a month? You know that, you know, why just have a $5,000 a month? Why not have a $10,000 a month for you personally? Your paycheck would probably be, I don't know, between 15 and $1,600 extra, extra from Mary Kay, not including your sales. So why not? If you're gonna do it, why not go big, okay? So, and like I said, this is definitely, definitely, definitely the month to do it. So that was kind of the information. Um, oh, the other thing I wanna talk about is, is um, I want you to know, I want you to think about, first of all, okay, I just shared all this stuff, got you all excited, hopefully about moving up because literally the sky's the limit and you can move as fast or slow as you want. And the beauty of this business is that we're in control. You know, when I've worked other jobs, if I wanted a promotion, if I wanted a raise, if I wanted to be a manager, that wasn't up to me. The position had to be available. I had to have the experience. I had to know the right people. I had to have been there long enough. You know, Mary Kay, none of that matters. 
you can literally decide today that you're going to move into management and leadership and you can do it like in five seconds. Literally, it is a decision. Um, so just know that's a wonderful thing that it's available to you. But I can tell you, I can honestly tell you that the only thing that's going to hold you back from doing this and from reaching all these things is you, is you. The only thing that's going to hold you back is right here in between your ears because I know for me, I know for anybody else, any of my consultants I've worked with that the number one obstacle we have is ourselves. And you can learn how to meet people. You can learn about the products. You can learn how to master closing techniques. You can learn how to be a great booker. But um, the most important thing that you need to learn as a leader is how to manage yourself and how to believe in yourself and how to pick yourself back up. Because moving into leadership, you're going to have, especially if you go for something big, you're going to have disappointments. You're going to have discouragements. You're going to have cancellations left and right. Believe me. Um, you're going to have some major huge obstacles. Like literally, I just have to tell you, I've gotten a ton of stuff thrown my way. In fact, today I got a letter saying I have jury duty. I mean, really? Jury duty in June? I've never had jury duty, really? Um, anyways, you're going to have obstacles, right? <laughs> but, but the key is you've got to work through them and know how to work through them and know how to work, you know how to pick yourself back up. And I can tell you, you know, if you haven't heard me talk about this already, one of the things that has helped me the most is, is this program called the Shine Program. And it is um, a program with national sales directors, four national sales directors, um, that every, it's every Wednesday night. And it is powerful. You get training from national sales directors, you guys. And then Jamie Cruz Bernio, she is... Um, it was, she is my mentor, and she does a special called Just for Leaders. It's called Accelerated Core Leadership called Just for Leaders on Monday nights, and it will literally revolutionize your thinking. So I am, I, if I, I can't say it enough that as a leader, you've got to work on yourself more than anything. Be, and, and, you know, plugging into like the shine calls, plugging into, you know, all the positive Voxer things I send and, you know, all of that, like the million dollar message and all of those things, you guys, it makes such a big difference that you have really got to work on building you up, reaching up to me. Oh my gosh, you guys, you are not super woman. I need to know when you're down. I need to know when you're discouraged because you're not meant to do this alone. Okay. So I can tell you that the hardest part about moving up is right here. And if you believe it and you're willing to work on yourself and your belief, there is literally nothing that can stop you. Nothing that can stop you except for yourself. But that's also the best reason to do this is because you will grow so much. I have loved seeing, you know, Darla just grow over this process of becoming a, a director because I've seen her confidence grow. I've seen her leadership grow. I've seen her organization skills grow. And so you guys, through the process of becoming a sales director, you, you grow. You don't have to have those right now. So basically, I want to know, um, what do you, what do you want to commit to? What do you want to, what do you want on that buffet of Mary Kay? What do you want? Do you just want to eat salad or do you want the steak and the potatoes and the dessert and the wine and all that's available to you guys? Because it's available to you. Don't limit yourselves because, because you got to work up here. The work up here is the best work you will ever, ever, ever do for yourself. Because whether you stick with Mary Kay or not, learning to change your thinking will literally change your life. I have learned to be more positive. I've learned to be more optimistic. I've learned to stretch myself, which the world just doesn't understand, you know, that I have learned to be a better person because of Mary Kay. So just know it's a good thing. Yeah, you're going to be afraid, but it's also a wonderful, wonderful thing. If you're scared, that's a good thing. That means you should go for it. If you want to throw up, that's a good thing. Mary Kay said we should have throw up goals. Make us want to throw up because that means it's big enough. If we just have a baby goal that's like, well, I'm just going to get one new team member this month, that doesn't motivate us. That doesn't stretch us. We need to have something that, that motivates us into action, okay? So I want to know what you're, what you're willing to commit to because I'm needing to know who I can work with this month, who I, need, who I can invest my time in, who I can pour into because I need to be really smart about my time, you know, with this huge, massive goal. But I can tell you that I can't do this alone. There is no way that we can do 140000 wholesale alone. No way that I can do that. I need you guys to step up. If you ever had a desire to step up, this is the month to do it. And not that I would ever want you, I would ever ask you to do something you don't want to do, but I want you to do it for you not for me but sometimes we're willing to do more for other people than we are for ourselves and so if that motivates you use it if that pisses you off then 
don't then pretend I didn't say that, okay? <laughs> but I want you to move up and um, and really, I mean, if we can get like you know, 10 people going on Target for their cars this month, you guys, we can do this. You know, 10 people that are willing to be crazy and be the low nut and to be willing to believe in themselves enough that they're worth it, their family's worth it, their dreams are worth it, and that they are going for it now. No more excuses, but they're going to do it now. They're not going to wait till next month because if you procrastinate, you're always going to procrastinate, okay? There's never a perfect time. There's never going to be the magic moment where all the stars line up and, okay, now it's time to become a director. No, you have to do it despite the obstacles. You know, the people, every director's story I've heard, there's always huge obstacles that come their way, but they push through them, you guys. And so it really is about you just making that decision. Okay. So I want to know what do you want? What part of the buffet do you want? I want you to tell me that tonight after we get off the call, because you know, I, I want you to, to, to claim it and not just say, oh, yeah, that sounds nice. But you've got to claim it and say, no, this is what I want and I'm going for it. Because what I know about women is when we want something, we go make it happen. So what are you going to commit to? Um, and, and then what are you willing to work for? I think that's the key, too, is everybody can say, I want a director. I want to be a director. I want to make more money. But you've also got to look at your willingness factor. What are you willing to work for? OK, because if you want to move up, there's two things that have to change. Two things I can tell you. I just heard it on that same call I was talking about or was listening to today from a national. Two things that need to change. Number one is your belief and your attitude. Your attitude about the business, your attitude about recruiting, your attitude about yourself, your attitude about your work ethic, your attitude about um, whatever, maybe just about Mary Kay in general. So your attitude has to change because we are where we are because of what we believe about ourselves. It's so true. And then the second thing that has to change is your work habits, your work habits. And you've got to be willing to put in the time, you know, that you've got to be willing to invest times into your dream, invest time into your future. You know, seriously, you can earn a car and become a sales director on eight to 10, 12 hours max. 12 hours max of, of time with Mary Kay. If you're working at smart and working in, and doing income producing activities, you guys, that it's worth it. Most people work 40 hours a week for a job that, you know, that's just a paycheck. It's not creating their future. It's not having the impact that you can have in Mary Kay. So you have to change your attitude and then you have to change your work habits and be willing to work consistently and be willing to put in the, the work and then the right work, the focused activity. Okay. So, what does that look like? Um, here, here, here's the deal is if you have a desire to move up, we need to get you in front of people. We need to share the marketing plan with people. Three parties a week. I broke that down. If you want to be a sales director or go on target your car this month, I would say if you want to, um, like literally, yes, working the numbers, you would want to share with like, um, usually about one in every three people that we sit down with signs up about one in every 10, like I said, 10, 15, 20 that watches the video, but doesn't follow up with me, um, you know, is, um, is interested in the business. And so you want to get them to events. You want to get them to stuff. So basically it's up to you how hard you want to work. If you get people to events, it's a lot less, um, it, it's a lot better use of your time. You're working smart and not hard. You know, you guys literally could plug into all the events and literally have me recruit everybody for you and sell product for you. If you bring like three to five guests to each event, I, prove me wrong that you would not be on target for your car or in DIQ if you bring three to five guests to every single event that we have going on. Because most of you that are on, there's a couple of you that are not, but a couple, most of you that are on are local to me. And get me in front of people. If you're not local to me, get me on Skype. Get me face to face to people where I can actually talk to them and have a conversation looking them eyeball to eyeball. Okay? Because texting people and overcoming objections is not going to cut it. Very few people sign up that way. So you basically need to get me in front of people. I would say if you want to move up, um, get me in front of 20, 25 people this month. Easily. Easily. Get me in 20, 25 people that I would be surprised if you are not on target for your car. If you want to get in your red jacket, get me in front of 10 people this month. Okay. Get me in front of 10 people. And if you are serious about moving up, I want you to know that you are my priority. Yes, I am busy, but I want to work with leaders and I need to be smart about my time. And if you're serious about this and you're serious about finding people that, that, that want to change their lives then I want to work with you. Okay. So, um, so get me in front of people. Um, so basically bottom line is this, I'll end it up with like, uh, I want to start playing ball with you. And how this works is that 
if you are serious about this too, you can't hide from, you can't hide from me. You have to stay in touch. You have to stay in touch. Then I'm here to help you. And, and if I'm not your director, then, you know, then you got to stay in touch with your director because, you know, it's really easy when you go for something to say, yeah, 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 I want to do it. And then when you're not doing the work or you get frustrated or you get discouraged, you pull away and you just don't return my calls or my box or my text. I'm not stupid. I know how this works. I know you're not in a good place. And so you've got to hold yourself accountable. And there's so much power in just saying, yeah, I didn't do it today. Because guess what? That makes you not want to say that next time. Okay. So I'm going to start playing ball with you. And how this works is that you prove to me whether you're serious about this. I'm going to give you a challenge to start. Um, and then we'll play ball. And if you keep playing ball with me, we'll keep going. I keep throwing the ball back to you. If you don't hit it back to me, then we're not playing ball. That's how ball, playing ball works. It goes back and forth, right? So we got to have communication is all I'm saying. You got to have accountability because you're not meant to do this alone, okay? So your first challenge, if you're serious about this, is number one, you got to commit to something. You got to make a decision about what it is that you want in this whole buffet of Mary Kay, you know, and then what are you going to commit to making happen this month? Okay. And I don't want to hear no wimpy commitments. Okay. Because, um, if you tell me, okay, you know, I just want to do this little thing. I want to, I want them looking for people who are willing to be crazy and willing to believe big and stretch big because every single one of you could be on target for your car this month. Every single one of you could get into DIQ this month. If you're willing to believe in yourself. Um, so you got to be willing and then, of course, be willing to do the activity. So I want you to commit to something and then I want you to voice it. I want you to tell me right after this call, either via Voxer, text, email, whatever, communicate with me somehow um, what you're committing to. And then I want you to send me a list of five people in your life that need Mary Kay. Okay. Five people in your life who you think could benefit from Mary Kay. Maybe they need more money, but maybe more importantly, they need... Um, a backup plan or they need some confidence or they need some girl time or they need to just be around positivity or maybe they need um maybe they need i don't know some friends maybe they need um, an escape from a negative home environment or a negative work environment i can't tell you how many people come to meetings each week because they have a very negative work environment and they just want to be around positivity they just want to be around you know uplifting encouraging women you guys um so look for women i want you to be thinking about because every single one of you even if don't tell me do not tell me i've asked everybody i can't think of anyone because i want to encourage you to, to think out of the box because i know you know people i know there's five people in your life who could use more in their life more money more flexibility more time more the more um more fun or confidence so that those are the two things i want you to start that's me playing ball with you that's me saying all right Here's your first baby step. I laid out to you the buffet. I told you this is what, um, if you want to you know, earn your car, then this is, this is what it's going to take. But the first step is make a list of five people, and let's talk about how we can get in front of those people, okay? So if I'm not your director, then send them to your director, okay? And she'll get in front of those, of those five people um, ASAP. And then, um, and no prejudging. No prejudging because it's really easy to say, well, that lady doesn't have money or that, or that lady maybe makes, has a really good job. You know, some of the best consultants in Mary Kay are people that have great jobs because just because they have a great job doesn't mean they love it and doesn't mean they have all the flexibility and doesn't mean that it's a very positive environment. You know, I know people that make great money, but they're miserable or they never see their family, you know, so don't prejudge the women that look like they have all their stuff together. They're usually the people that need this more than anything. Okay. More than anything. Um, oh, here's one other thing. One other thing in that list of five people, I want to pre-qualify it with, it has to, they have to have at least three of these five things. Okay. Um, three of these five things. They're at least like 21 or older. They, they work or have some source of income. They either own, they own a home or they um, own a car. And what's the other one? Oh, they're married or in a significant relationship. Oh, the other ones they have kids. So basically just um, a few of those things, basically I have three of those, at least three of those things, okay? And not that, um, not that we, we want to discount anyone that doesn't have those things because I didn't have all those things when I signed up, but um, we're looking for, you know, three of those, three of those five things. So I rattled them off really quickly because I couldn't remember them. <laughs> I was trying to remember them off the top of my head. So I think it's that they're, it's 24, sorry, they're 24 to, to like 55 or 60, um, they own or rent a home. 
um, they have a job or, you know, full-time, part-time, whatever, have some source of income. Um, they're in a, in a significant, in a stable relationship, either, you know, married or a significant other. Um, I think the other ones, they have kids, I think they're six, and then they have some court, some form of education or something. Anyways, basically just be looking for, for some, some sharp people. Um, and that's it. That's where I want you to start. And then I would highly recommend that you get plugged into the shine calls and that you really work on the two, the, the inches right between your ears, you guys, because that right there is where this whole business happens. Okay. That's how people move quickly. It's right here in between their ears is because you're going to have those downtimes, but the key is how quickly you're going to pick yourself back up because the quicker you can pick yourself back up, the quicker you can pick yourself up back up from those disappointments and those discouragements, because they will happen. If you haven't already had some, they're gonna, they're coming. I promise. Um, the key is how quickly you can pick yourself back up because that will determine how quickly you move up in Mary Kay because we all have stuff, but the key is how quickly are you going to pick yourself back up? That people that are at the top have learned how to pick themselves back up quicker and you're not meant to do that alone. You guys, that's what I'm here for. That's what, um, that's what all the, um, you know, training and the positivity and all the stuff that we have out there are for is to really help you, you know, um, really shift your thinking. So so that's it. Um, I pretty much just want to work with those with, with you guys and help you move up. So I hope that makes sense. I could go into lots of other stuff, but I also wanted to keep it um, under an hour because I know you guys are busy and I know that you're probably getting bored. Um, but I hope that you're excited about getting out there and making some money and changing some lives and making a difference in the world, you guys, and really going after your dreams. That now's the time. Why put it off? Why put off that family vacation? Why put off, you know, whatever it is that you want when seriously you can have it in Mary Kay if you're willing to believe it and then if you're willing to back it up with that activity you guys but it's worth it it's worth the discouragements it's worth the disappointments it's worth the you know it's it's worth the the work that that it takes and really this work is not that hard you guys I mean really we're teaching people to wash their face and then we're sharing the business opportunity with them asking them if they want to change their life we're not like trying to you know I don't know, twist their arm or anything. We are pampering them. And so what we do is we make it way harder up here than it really is. You guys, this business is simple, but the key is that, um, is that you've got to, is that you've got to believe it. And then you got to just get into work and just do it. Bottom line, just do it. So that's it. I'm excited to hear from you. So those are the two things that I want you to do um, tonight to let me know that you are really serious and you're playing ball with me and yeah, I'm, you're, I'm throwing the ball to you right now. You got to throw it back to me by telling me what are you going to commit to? What is maybe the, the big picture? And then what are you doing? What are you going to commit to making it happen in June? Okay. So yeah, maybe you want directorship, but maybe you're going to commit to going to drive your car this month, you know, which, yeah. So it's totally up to you what you decide to do, but I just encourage you to believe in yourself and believe big because I'm believing some wild, crazy stuff that I, I am. I want people who are willing to, to believe in themselves enough to believe that they can too, that if I can do it, you can do it. And people out there in Mary Kay are doing it. We're going to hear a million stories, you know, once June is over of all this new person that came in and she got into DIQ and she earned her car in one month and she did this and she did that. And she's brand spanking new that if she can do it, so can you. You guys, we're breaking records. I'm looking for people who are willing to, to break records with me, that they are, records are there to be broken. Why not go out there and, and make it happen? Because it's available. That really, it's just a decision. And once you make up your mind, nothing will stop you. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you're able to hear me entirely. And yeah, I appreciate you guys joining. So I want to hear from you. So commit to something, believe in yourselves, and then let's get to work and go make it happen. Oh, and then send me a list of five people who, whose lives could be impacted by Mary Kay. No prejudging. No prejudging. That's the rule. No prejudging. Um, but women who you know who, who their lives could be changed and need an opportunity like this. All right? Okay, guys. Have a great night. I want to hear from you.